Okay, let's set up DHCP service on a router. So we're going to grab a router here. All right. Then we gr grab a client computer, a PC. Then we're just going to connect the two together using a crossover cable. Ethernet to Ethernet. That's all we're going to do is set up DHCP in this lesson. We're going to go to the client and make sure the client is configured for DHCP. So we go here, set that, and that should set it requesting DHCP. So now we've got the client set up requesting IP addresses through DHCP. Now we've got to set up the router. So we'll go to the router, command line interface, no, enter. Okay, there's the um, exec prompt. We're going to type enable to get to privileged exec prompt. We don't have any passwords on the router. This is all we're going to do is DHCP. Configure terminal to get to global config mode. And then when we're in global config mode, we need to configure our Ethernet interface right here. This interface right here needs to be configured that we just connected our crossover cable to. So we're going to say int, which is short for interface, fa, which is short for fast Ethernet, 0 slash 0. That puts us into interface configuration mode. Notice we were in global config mode. Now we're in interface configuration mode. And we're going to type IP address 192.168.1.1 space 255.255.255.0 for the interface. Hit enter. That's good. And then no shutdown. Right? We put in the word no space shutdown or no shut for short to turn on the interface. So now the interface is active. Now if we look down here you'll see that we've got green lights here on our interfaces. So now what we're going to do is we'll do a control C hit enter. That's back to privileged exec mode. Then I'm going to do a conf T, which is short for configure terminal, like that, right? You can just do conf T. Back to global configuration mode, and it's time to configure DHCP for the um, router. By the way, DHCP on the router is enabled by default, so it's working right now. If you wanted to shut it down, you would type no service DHCP and that would shut it down. Now for some reason it's not taking that command um, and um, I guess maybe on this router it won't allow you to shut it down but that's what I've read on how you would shut it down right? No service DHCP and then to turn it back on you would say service DHCP but for some reason it's not taking those commands but anyway it's on by default so all we have to do is configure it. So what I'm going to do is I'll say IP. First of all, I'm going to set up IP DHCP excluded addresses. So addresses that it's not going to use to um, create um, for uh, addresses that it's not going to hand out. So IP addresses that are going to be excluded. And we'll say excluded exclude 192.168 dot one dot one which happens to be our router <laughs> interface to one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot ninety nine let me open this up so you can see it all right so there you go there's the IP DHCP excluded addresses one nine two one six eight one dot one space one nine two one six eight one dot ninety nine all right, and I put an S in here, so I'm going to get rid of that. Just it's not addresses, it's address. Okay, there we go. And now we're going to um, create our DHCP pool of addresses that we're going to hand out. So we'll say IP DHCP pool, and then we'll type in my pool one, right? So there's my pool of addresses is going to be called my pool one. The network will be 192.168.1.0. And then I'll put in the subnet mask. 
and then now I can hand out the gateway and also the DNS server. So I'm going to say default dash router. And the default gateway will be 192.168.1.1. That sets it up. And then if you wanted to, you could also say um, what's going to be the DNS server. So you could say DNS. DNS server, DNS dash server. So you're going to type in DNS dash server. And let's say I was the DNS server also, which I'm not. I could um, put in, let's say, the same address for DNS server. Or I could say, get your DNS services from some other address. Right? Like that. Okay? So now it's configured and it's good to go. So now if we go to our client and we go to IP configuration, you can see he's already picked up an IP address. See requesting an IP address, he picked up 1.100. He's got um he needs to get his default gateway though. So let's see if we can put in some commands here for the client. I'll do an IP config release. All right? Now he's got all zeros and then just do a renew. And you can see now that it's picked up the IP address, subnet mask, the default gateway and the DNS server from the router. Another useful thing that you can do with Packet Tracer is analyze the process of DHCP, the discover, the offer, the request, and the acknowledge phases of the DHCP um, packets, the handshakes essentially that set up DHCP. So what you could do is, is just slide this over, click on this tab right here to go into simulation mode, click auto capture, right, then go to your client, right, and put in a release right and then put in a renew right and then what you could do is as that's happening you can then um, click on these packets to take a look at them right so you just click on the packet bring it over here and you can see what's happening in the packet you can look at the details of the packet source IP address is zero destination is um, 255 you see that he's broadcasting the request right for a um, the discovery packet um, is a uh, it's a broadcast right source port 68 destination port 67 so you can see what ports DHCP is functioning on and you can analyze that whole um, situation you can also see that the MAC address is a broadcast MAC address right broadcast uh, IP address and so you can analyze all those packets, and that's really useful for taking a look at what happens here.